Ana. Hey, Chinese TV. Welcome back, ladies, to the Grown Women's Table. Ladies, 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 it's your girl, Lori. Hey, girl, hey. How y'all doing today? Sorry for the lateness. Your girl is a little out of whack. I'm trying to get myself together. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, Zebion. Y'all. Hey, Tish. Hey, Monique. Zebion, bring me a coffee stir. <coughs> Y'all. Oh, I miss you guys, too. It's been like two weeks, y'all. So let me tell y'all um, what's been going on. Um, last week, thank you. Last week, I was on my family vacation. So um, I didn't vlog or I didn't vlog, y'all. I am not the vlogging type. I am the type that's in the moment. So last week was family vacation. And then how about the week before that? Your girl was sick. And I was working on getting myself better because I knew I was going to be on vacation the following week. So that's where your girl has been. But I'm back. Um, refreshed. I need a vacation from the vacation, y'all. I'm be for real. I'm tired. I feel a little better. <coughs> Allergies still acting crazy, but... Yeah, we got to take time out for the break. Yeah, dessert. Thank you. So, let me go back to the comments. I feel like I miss, missed some comments. Hold on, you guys. I think you guys were just saying hello to each other, but I just want to make sure. It's been a minute. So, we got Taya, Lala, Monique, Tish. Hi, Star. You have to take some time, girl. Hey, Simply You Makeup. I miss you guys, too. I really did. I need some lotion. So what we're doing today, y'all, because let me, let me just say this. My face, I don't know if you guys could see it. But first of all, this shit got a little darker. Hey. I went tanning. I love to tan in the summertime. Let me tell you why. Because in the summertime, when I tan, you know how you have the dark under, you know, your under eye is dark. But when you get a nice tan, your your face is just like one complexion. Even with your hyperpigmentation, it just, to me, when I'm able to get my face a little bit darker, maybe a shade or two darker, I just love the way that it looks. And so I did lay out and tan. But let me tell you, my face has gone against me my skin. You pro guys probably cannot see it, but I have, you might be able to see it. I have heat bumps. That's what I think it is. All over my forehead, all down my cheek on both sides and down here on my chin. So I have been exfoliating and it's so weird because it didn't it didn't happen overnight. Like we went to I went to the beach, you guys. Um, for my vacation, I went to Florida. I went to um, right outside of Kissimmee, Florida, and so we end up going to Clearwater Beach. So go to the beach, get in the ocean, come out, lay out for my tan. I'm like, and it seemed like the sun was only coming in one direction. So like I would turn my head this way so the sun could hit my face. And then I would turn my head the other way for the sun to hit my face. You know what I'm saying? And, oh, I didn't think of that. Um, Monique said that could just be an allergic reaction or an effect on your skin from sand fleas. But why would it be on the rest of my body? Well, you know, I wasn't really, I mean, I was in the sand, but maybe, maybe, I don't know. That's a good thing. It might be what it is, but girl, I'm telling you, I can feel when I run my hands across my face, I can feel the bumps. So I have been doing minimal makeup.
or it can just affect certain areas, then maybe that's it. Because you know, when you're in the ocean, the sand is in the ocean. And I did fall. I did. You know how when the waves come? And if you've ever been to Clearwater, hey, Brown Girl Bella. Hey, Miss Chocolate Divine. Um, if you've ever been, you got the wig? Okay, tell me how you like it. If you've ever been to Clearwater, you can walk for a long time before it goes deep. Like we never, it never, I went way out and I could still touch the ground pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, and you guys, I have been, I have basically been ghost on social media. So I'm going to get back into it. You had one when you went to Galveston. Okay. So, but the ways that came in, girl, I fell face first. So, yeah, that may be may be the problem. Cause it it is a, like a um like an allergic reaction. You, uh, Monique, I'm looking at my face. Let me put my mirror over here. It really is because girl, and it's little bitty bumps, little bitty bumps. So, but anyway, that's where your girl been. So what I want to do today, because I'm not going to really get into a lot of makeup, I'm going to probably um, just do this haul. I look tan. Thank you. Y'all, let me tell y'all what my husband said. My husband is so crazy, y'all. So you guys know my sister-in-law is white, right? Well, my, my, my brother's mother of his children. So we went to we we went to vacation together. So it was her, my nieces and nephews, me, my husband, and um Zavion and his two siblings. We all went. So a picture this. So on the beach is Kim, who's white. My husband is light brown, and then me, who I'm um, dark skinned, right? And so we all laid out. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get me. Oh, thank you. I'm going to get me a tan. Here go my husband. He said, he said, you can't get no tan. Now, he's being serious. You can't get no tan because you're already past the tan shade. He was like, Kim could get a tan, but you ain't getting a tan. You're just blackening. You know how you have blackened fish, like blackening? Girl, when I said we was cracking up at him, hey, the kid. Uh, we were cracking up at him. But when I thought about it, I was like, well, yeah, that's actually correct. You're actually, oh, hey, Kim. Kim's in the building right now. Remember Kim? Kim was like, I came with him. So he was like, you're blackening. You're not getting no tan. You're already past tan. So y'all, technically, I was blackening, according to my husband, which was fine with me. I just need to get a couple shades darker. But y'all, while I was on vacation, y'all know we did some shopping. And they had a CCO company. So I went in there and I didn't do, I didn't do no damage. But I did pick up a few things. So I wanted to show y'all that. And then I'm going to actually show y'all what I took as far as makeup for my vacation because I knew... Um, I wasn't going to be doing a, no, I didn't go to a TJ Maxx because we went to a, um, an outlet. Y'all, it's hot in my room for some reason. Mmm. I know that's right, brown girl, Bella. Yeah, I know two of the ladies. The, no, I was at the CCO in Orlando. It, okay, yeah, it was off of, um, I think the street is Vine Yard or Vine View or something like that. It's not the one that was on I Drive. Because, you know, if you go in Orlando area, because I was coming from the Tampa area. Like, I was in Davenport. So, I got to that one on Vine before I got to the one on I-4 International. But, let me show y'all what I picked up. And... Do I, did I leave my receipt? Yeah, I left my receipt. And most of the stuff, y'all, is fragrances. I only picked up one makeup item, actually. Okay, and I got my receipt. I kept my receipt so I could tell y'all. All right, so 
The first fragrance that I picked up, oh, it is hot. Ooh, child. And I guess I ain't doing no good drinking coffee. The first fragrance I picked up is, where's my glasses? Oh, yeah, the store is very nice. It was a big store. Because, you know, some of them CCO stores are small. This one was a nice, hey, Sarah. This one was a nice size store. But hold on, y'all. I had to go get my glasses. Okay. <clears throat> now, I have picked up my very first Joe Malone fragrance. And I have, um, it's called Honeysuckle and Devana. It's like this. And you guys, it smells, it smells floral and sweet at the same time. So let me tell you how much it cost and how much I paid for it. So it was originally $72. And that day, they were 50% off. So I got it for $36, y'all. I got it for $36. Oh, you picked up some Chanel, um, Chanel Allure. From from Macy said so I love that smells so good. Hey Maddie. Yes, yes, it smells so good. They smell so good. All right, now this one is the next one that I'm super excited about. You guys know Aaron, right? The Aaron um fragrance. Well, they had this, it's called Linen Rose Elder Cologne. So I was like, you know, you have the, um, the Aldu, I can't say it, but y'all know what I'm trying to say, perfume. And then you have the, I call it toilet water, Elder Toilet. So I had never seen it in a cologne. So I asked the lady what it was. And she said, it's like in between, it gives you, um, the, it don't last as long as a perfume, but it, it lasts a little longer than a toilet. And a lot of times people use it as like, you know, when you get out the shower, put it on, that type of stuff. But y'all, this linen rose smells so good. And let me show y'all how big the bottle is. It's a 6.7 fluid ounce. And that's what the bottle looks like. And I've used some. And you don't need a lot. I realized that very early on. Now, let me tell y'all how much this costs. This right here was originally $170. Because y'all know um, Aaron is not cheap. All right. It was on sale for 75% off. I said 75%. I paid $42.50. I saved $127.50. Y'all. Y'all. And this one has more of a... It's a clean scent. It's like a, a clean... You can smell the roses, but it's clean. And it smells so good. And it is literally perfect for what the lady said. Like when you get out the shower, especially if you're getting out the shower, going to bed at night and you want to smell good. And I put it on, it's all oh, my, my linen smell like it, it just, oh, you can wear it as an everyday scent as well, but, mm. and it's a grown woman scent. It's not an old lady, but grown woman. You want the Jimmy Choo fever so bad? I need to smell that. You know I love me some Jimmy Choo. Hi, Joy. It's becoming one of your new favorite stores. I go every weekend just right, just to see what they got. I got it from the, it's called the Cosmetic Company Store. If you have one in your area, nine times out of 10, it'll be at a outlet store. If you have an outlet mall, uh, it'll be there. If not, you can always call them and they will ship it to you. 
Yes. Evidently, Estee Lauder owns them as well. Because everything in the CCO store is an Estee Lauder brand. And I didn't know. Yes, that's a lie. I did know that. I did know that. I was going to say I didn't know that, but yes, I did. Yeah, it was a great deal. It's, it's called, I'm going to show you what the show you what it looks like. It's called the Cosmetic Company Store. And you see all these brands that's on this bag? These are all the brands that are owned by Estee Lauder. So if you go in there, you'll be able to find Clinique, Glow, um, Glam Glow, Origin, Too Faced, MAC, um, Estee Lauder, of course, Smashbox, Tom Ford, Bobby Brown, MAC. Um, and then with the fragrance sections, they have all kinds of different, you know, brands that are owned by um, Estee Lauder. Yes, you definitely have to go. I bought it at the CCO. Okay, you got you heard me. Okay. So I picked this up, y'all. When I seen that this was 75% off and I love the smell, I was like, put it in the bag. It's absolutely going on with me. So that's the second fragrance I picked up. And then the last fragrance that I, I bought was, this was a DKNY Women's Limited Edition. It's an Ella Toilet, so it's, I call it Ella Toilet Toilet Water, y'all. But it's not Toilet Water. That's just me being ignorant. Uh, <laughs> but um, it's an energizing Ella Toilet. It's a spray. But when I tell you, I don't see the name. I'm looking for the name. Because they had multiple ones. They had one in this packaging. They had one in a blue packaging. Um, but it was over in the 75% off um, section. Now, how much does this normally cost? Yeah, it just says DKNY Limited Edition Energy. I guess maybe Energize is the name. Maybe Energize is the name. And it's normally $82 a bottle. It was 75% off. I paid $20.50. And y'all, first of all, the bottle is gorgeous. This is the bottle. And this one is um, very sweet, very, very sweet. And Kim said it was very strong. She has like a, um, a um, allergy to scents, maybe. So she was saying this one was very strong. It's a sweet, soft. It really kind of, I can see sporty. You know what I mean? I can see a sporty in this. Hey, D. So I picked this up as well. And the last thing that your girl picked up, and then I'm going to show you what I got for free. Now, the last item I picked up Your house is a no shoe and perfume. Girl, I love perfume now. Oh, no problem, girly. The last thing I picked up, y'all, <laughs> only picked up one makeup item, but. This one makeup item is a beast. I finally got my hands on the La Mer Foundation. And I picked up the color 430 Chestnut. Now, I've worn it, but because my face is broken out the way that it is, I really can't really gauge it. So I said, I'm going to wait till my face clears completely up. Because by me having these little bumps, honey, it's been like, yeah. This is what the bottle looks like. Now, this was, how, what kind of sale was it? Fifty percent off. So normally it's one twenty-five. I got it for sixty-two fifty. So y'all, we winning. We are winning. Like I was super duper happy with that. I said, um, I can get LeMaire 50% off. Hello. Drop it in the bag. 
So, and the color match is a pretty good match for me. Well, at the, the day that I bought it. I haven't really tried it, tried it for real, for real since I have been um, black ending, as my husband said. That's going to be my new phrase. So, basically, those are all the items that I got. And she gave me 15% off of one item. I got three of them. But they don't take effect until, let me see, uh, June 1st through June 30th. So I'm going to have to put these somewhere so that I don't lose them. I'm going to put them in my drawer. So I can't use them, but she gave me three of them so I can go and use three of them and get 15% off of one single item three times in the month within that month. So I was appreciative of that. Let me go ahead and put these in this drawer right now. Now, because I had spent, um, if you spend $150, they give you a free gift. So my free gift was this Estee Lauder. And y'all, and it has what? Five different little deluxe size fragrances with a little bag. So those are the fragrances and I didn't want to take them out, but they are deluxe size. So it gives me an opportunity to try out some other fragrances. So that's my haul, y'all. Oh, wait a minute. And I got one more thing that I got before I left, but I didn't show y'all. Pamagraph is having a sale still, y'all. So if you spend over $150, I think, you get 30% off. And anything under the $150 is 20% off. But before she had this sale, she had another sale. And I went ahead, I was watching um, Ashley. Time out, time out, time out. Before I go any further, I have to say this. Y'all, our girl, heavy on the chai, has started her YouTube channel, y'all. Heavy on the chai is the name of the channel. And she has uh, like an introductory video and she has her first get ready video up. Guys, go support our girl. If you're not subscribed to her channel, definitely go subscribe to her channel. She's new to YouTube. Welcome her to YouTube. And she is a makeup lover. And she loves luxury makeup as well. Um, I think she's more into luxury. I don't, I don't know. We'll find out. How about that? Let's go on a journey with her and we'll find out what her taste is in makeup. But I know for sure she likes luxury makeup. But I was on Ashley's channel. Heavy on the chai. Y'all know who heavy on the chai is. She's normally in the chat room with us. She's normally here with us. You already subscribed to her? To okay. You see all of our sisters in her comments. I am so happy. I am so happy for her. Because we've been giving her a hard time. Like, girl, you need to start a channel. You need to start a channel. And she finally did. And I'm so, so happy for her. And she's so pretty. Um, You sub too? Okay, Tish. Okay, so when we were over there at Ashley's um, channel, we, we were talking about this Pat McGrath. You know the light one. Which one is it called? I think it's called Floral Fantasia. And I didn't pick it up because I felt like it was going to be just be way too light. You know, like I was like, I don't know if I'm really going to rock with that one. And she was like, oh, it's really nice. She liked it. And so since it was on sale, I think I paid what? Was it $30? I think it was, might have been $30 that I paid for it. I was like, I'll go ahead and give it a try. Let me show y'all what it looks like. It's, it's one of these. Is it, it was the holiday collection from last year. And it's this one right here. The one that had the more pastel colors to it. And I'll swatch it. The first one is like a gold shade. And then you have this beautiful lavender. And then this one right here is like a, hmm, a purplish pinkish type shade and then the last one is like a I don't know 
beige, like a, but it's like a beige shade. And it's the and that beigey one is the only matte. But that's what it looks like. Oh, thank you. Hey. Oh, have you on a chat, girl? Thank you. You didn't have to do that. But thank you. Y'all, if you don't know who Heavy on a Chai is, because I know most of you guys do, she's in the chat. Definitely go check her out. She And she's a huge supporter. Yes, I definitely need to add another palette. You're right, Tish. I have to add another palette with this. But let me tell y'all what I've been doing. Y'all know I like a lighter lid color. This matte shade right here, I've been putting it from here to there and taking a darker shade of, from a different palette and um, doing my outer V and bringing it in. Yeah, it's been looking so good, so good. So I'm really glad I picked it up. And this lavender shade is beautiful. Oh my God. Let me blend these out some. They are very, very, very pretty. And they will be really good um, especially this lavender. If you just want to do a one lid color and go, child, yes. Y'all be jumping from live to live. Hi, Lorraine. Right, because after this live is over with you guys, Ashley will be live at 9 o'clock. She normally goes live at 9 o'clock. So while I'm getting ready for work and stuff, I'll be trying to um, go in her live and <clears throat> listen to it while I'm driving. So that was my little haul. And for those that just came in, I'm not really doing a lot of makeup because I have heat bumps all over my face from my vacation. Like, mad disrespectful. Mad disrespectful. But I am going to show y'all what your girl packed for my vacation. And let me tell you what I was doing so you can understand why I packed the way that I did. I basically, we went to Florida and I know we were gonna do some shopping. We took the kids to Island of Adventure. I knew I was going to the beach. I was gonna do a cookout because what we did was we rented a, a townhouse and it had its own private pool, private jacuzzi. It had five bedrooms and um, a uh, little game room and stuff like that. So Friday, we, we said we're going to just um, have a cookout because my sister-in-law and my nieces were coming up because they live in Florida. And they were going to actually be in Orlando for that weekend. So they was like, we'll just stop by on Friday. My cousin came over there, actually lives in Orlando. So we just had a little cookout. So I wasn't going to be out doing a lot. I knew I was going to be in the pool. I knew I was, you know what I mean? So that's this is why I packed the way I did. Hey, Marlo. Oh, thank you, Lorraine. Girl, my skin is broken now. Y'all can't see it. I have heat bumps all over the, this side, down my cheek. My whole face is just disrespectful right now. Like, And I did do an exfoliant. I exfoliated. I've been doing like a lot of moisturizing. So I just got to wait for it to heal, to do what it needs to do. And I said, I'm not going to rush it, but I'm not going to really do a lot of makeup just to give my skin an opportunity to get back to normal because like I can literally when I rub my fingers across I can feel the little bumps but y'all let me show y'all my makeup and I was gone for six days yeah six days I was gone for six days so makeup was For six days, and y'all know if you, yeah, that Florida sun hit a little differently. It do. If y'all know me, y'all know I overpack. I pack a lot. You guys seen me do a unpacking or packing for vacation type of video. So I'm very indecisive. So I be like, I might need this. I might need that. You know, I just be doing the most. 
But basically, all my makeup is in this bag. And my lip piece stuff is in this bag. So I'm going to show y'all what I took and kind of put it away. And then after that, we're going to get off of here. Because I'm not going to really do no makeup. You going on vacation in June? Y'all, let me just say this. I was talking to Marlo earlier today. And I think the, another reason why my face went crazy is because um, y'all know I work third shift. So I, I when I go to work, it's dark outside. And then last year we had the whole pandemic. Well, the beginning of the pandemic because we're still in it. But basically for a year, I didn't go on vacation. I didn't really leave my house but to go to work. So I really wasn't getting a lot of sunlight. And then last week I decided to go out and tan and just be out in the sun. And my skin was like, hold up. What are you doing? What is this? What is going on? It's like a vampire that jumps out in the sun and my skin lost it. it it's, my skin just said, oh no, we, we're not doing this. But it's going to be okay. So on this vacation, I knew I was not going to be trying to be glam because I wasn't planning on going like on a date night, although I did. I live in Arizona. I know about the sun hitting your... Yes, it's disrespectful and rude. But you're right. I needed that. Y'all, I'm sweating because it's hot in my beauty room. I definitely needed the vitamin D. Like, I definitely needed it. Like, y'all, I'm telling you, just to lay out in the sun, it was feeling so good. Like, oh. Now I'm ready to go back on another vacation. But anyway. Let me show y'all what I packed. So they get Arizona get disrespectful hot, right? Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna reach in here and put things away so it ain't gonna be in no. I'm gonna, well, let me try to do it semi in order. How okay, so for my primer, girl, <laughs> Woo, we need that too, girl. We need that too. Yes, I, I do feel, um, I feel like I needed a vacation from the vacation because, you know, when you have kids and the hubby and, and um, you, you know, not making sure, because y'all, we was at Universal Studios from 9 o'clock that morning to like 9.30 that night. Child. But anyway, I took my Tasha primer. Because y'all know I love Tasha primer. So that was the primer that I took with me. And I'm kind of putting this stuff away. And then far as complexion, I took my Marc Jacob Extra Shot. So this was my foundation and my concealer. It does help you emotionally, Monique. I do. Okay, I used to live in Cleveland, so y'all know it, it's cold, it's gloomy. And in the wintertime, you know, you kind of go in like a little depression. And when the sun comes out, you know, you're feeling great. Girl, yes, honey. I need to get one more shade darker, just one more, and then you won't be able to see my, my uh, under eyes, and then I'm going to be happy. I mean, I'm happy now, but... Girl. <laughs> Girl, no. Let me tell you. I did not get. Let me tell y'all about Universal Studios. And I'm sweating, y'all. We went for one day. So when you go for one day, you're not able to use any of the discounts. It has to be two days or more. I only had five days. I wasn't going no two days. So let me tell y'all. It costs. For anyone 10 and up, it was, hey, Jen, it costs $145 to get in. And if you were 10 and under, I think it was $126 plus tax. Hey, beauty on the friends. Oh, girl, you got to go. You got to go. 
You was I can't tell you were sweating on your first video. You did a great job. You really did. And then I did a meal plan where it was like $35. You got one meal. You got a cup where you could refill it all the time. And then you got a snack. And so I bought all of us that. Girl, no, honey. No. They, Universal Studios and well, all those all them spots, child, are expensive to get in. That's why we spent the whole day. I wanted to make sure that they were able to really get in. We spent most of the time standing in line. But to get in and get on the rise and have fun and do all the stuff they wanted to do. Okay, so then, of course, you guys know I took my Fenty, right? Like, I'm in 440. So I took my Fenty powder. So I just kind of, like, used the, the Marc Jacobs to just, you know, conceal, hit the hot spots, and then did a flush of powder. That was it. And of course, you know, I took my Natasha Denona contour that uh, let you leave. What I missing? What happened? Yeah, that price is something else, honey. Hold on, what I'm missing? Hold on, girl. Yes, Marlo, you got to get your face and your, your body to match up. Yes, you got to go to the CCO store. So I guess that's what y'all was talking about. Shayna, which one is Charlotte? Concord or the new outlet? Oh, what's happening? Uh, Vito Fred's video is having crazy technical difficulties now. It's happening on your live. What's happening on my live? So I took the Natasha Denona, y'all. I used the um, contour sculpting powder. So that's what I use for con for my contour. Oh, okay. 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 You are allergic to the sun heavy on a child? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, Daphne. Okay. And of course, y'all know I took my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. You know, we, we ain't going nowhere without her. Oh, you think it's just the premieres that are messing up? Oh, okay. And then I took, let me tell y'all. Who told me about this? Chris Loves Makeup told me about this. Um, Natasha Denona, I Need a Glow Highlighter. Y'all, I've been rocking with this ever since I got it. So I took this with me. It is a very nice highlighter. Very nice highlighter. I took my um, Makeup by Mario for my lid, for my um, to prime my eyelid, my eyelid. I love this highlighter, girl. Yes, I love the highlighter. So I took that with me. And then for mascara, I took, of course, my NARS, and I took the, the MAC Extended for my lower lashes. So we putting this stuff back, y'all. I'm putting things back as I'm talking to you. That highlighter is the truth. So natural, yes. You guys know I'm a soft glam type of girl. So it is such a natural looking... And I had wore it when I went to Atlanta, and my aunt even noticed it. She was like, what is that you got on the side of your face every time you turn? I see it. And she's not really big into makeup. I mean, she wears makeup, but she's not really big in it. 
Um, I don't know, cause they they charge us three hundred dollars for cleaning, so it was very clean, um, Monique. Um, when I went there, but see the the my allergic reaction, I believe it was the beach, cause we went to the beach on Thursday. We checked out on Saturday. I didn't really notice it until maybe Saturday that my face was breaking out. And y'all, how about this? Let me tell you what else happened. You're right, Lala. Lala said, I feel like BK makeup is basically your ride or die makeup because you know they work. I totally agree. Now, um, I also took eyeshadow. And what I end up doing, because I am indecisive and you have different outfits, so you don't really know what you're going to do. I'm going to tell you what I brought with me and I'm going to tell you what I actually used. Okay, so I brought my Natasha Denona. What is this one? My mini retros. I did all of my mini Natasha Denonas. This is the mini love. I brought the mini tropics. I brought the mini Leela. And I brought the mini gold. And then I also brought my Tom Ford honeymoon palette. So I, I, I was trying to get myself some variety because I didn't know what, you know, you know, I knew what outfits I took with me, but I didn't know how I was going to be feeling. And so that's one thing I would say about these little minis. That's a good thing for these minis because you can pack a lot of them in and get a lot of variety. Yes, it's okay, Monique. Yes. Now, what did I... And let me show you what the honeymoon palette looked like in case you're not familiar to what it looks like because that is what i actually used i used the honeymoon palette um on tuesday and tuesday was the day that we went shopping and tuesday was my date night me and my husband went to bahama breeze so this is the palette i used on tuesday And then when we went to the beach, um, even though I know I was going to the beach, I know I still put a little eyeshadow, a little, you know, just very minimum, just so I could just, you know, look alive. Oh, I can't put this back yet. I'll put this back later. And I end up using the Leela palette. So really, these was the only two palettes I actually used while I was on vacation. Girl, let me show y'all know Lorraine. Let me show you what I normally keep. This is this right here is my makeup bag. This is my when I travel. This right here is my makeup bag. My so I put my makeup in here, my skincare in here, and my hair products in here. This is my makeup bag. So y'all know I am serious. And normally most of this be makeup when I go on a regular vacation. I'm trying to put this stuff back. Hold on. So, um, for blush, I brought my Patrick Ty. Oh, she's different. Y'all know I love this blush. One of my favorite blushes. And then, um... Eyeliners, y'all. I did not even bring a lot of eyeliners with me. I only brought... Yes, it's called a retreat, yes. Y'all, let me tell you what happened to me while I was on my vacation. I have some... Well, I had some Prada sunglasses, but they have prescription in them. So, you know, if you go get your eyes checked and with your insurance, as long as you put your prescriptions, lenses, and sunglasses, they'll still pay for them. Well, they'll pay a certain amount and you have to pay the rest. So probably about two, three years ago, I went ahead and got me some Prada sunglasses. I took them to the beach. I have I kept up with them the whole time. And then at the very end, we had to go to the store where we had to go get on the elevator to go to our parking deck. Well, I had to go to the bathroom. 
And so I went to the restroom. I remember taking the glasses because I didn't, I didn't have them on. I was inside. So I took the glasses, set them on a little baby changer thing, went to the bathroom. Y'all, why did I walk out that bathroom and leave my glasses? And it was a lady standing outside the door because it's one of those bathrooms where there's only one stall waiting for me to come out. I stayed in that area for about another 20 minutes because my nieces were downstairs shopping. And so we were waiting on them to finish shopping and go through the line and then we were leaving. Y'all, I called the store and of course they say they can't find it. So you know what I say? I hope they can't see them. I hope they got them glasses, put them on their face and they can't see. That's what they get. Yes, you're definitely in the makeup season, Lala. Yeah, I was so hurt, y'all. I hope they blind, yeah. <laughs> Right, they probably, they go, but they're going to have to spend some money though, Monique. They're going to have to go and get some lenses put in because it's definitely, y'all know I can't see. And it's my prescription lens inside the glasses. So let me show y'all the liners. So I brought my Marc Jacob liner. I think this one, like right now, I can't see. Y'all don't need to put on glasses. This is that purple grayish one, I think. What is the name of this one? Oh, this is Dove Affair. And then I brought another Marc Jacob. I'm not going to show y'all the color. That's the color of that Marc Jacob one. And then I brought a brown Marc Jacob liner. So those are the three, those liners. And then I brought Mother's um, Extreme Black with me. I took Mother's um, Black Coffee. Wait a minute. Yeah, Black Coffee. And then I also took Mother's Blitz Blue. So those were the eyeliners that I brought with me. Because I really didn't know what I was going to be doing with my face. So I figured those were like basic colors that would kind of cover everything. You know, I got a little brown, a little blue, a little black, purple. And then I brought my, my brow stuff, y'all. Hold on one moment. Zavion, you checking that food? Yeah. Is that rice done? No. You turn it off? No. All right. So this is all the stuff I use, y'all, for my brows. But I do use the Benefits um, Goof Proof. And what shade is this one? Five, number five. So that's what I use for my brows. And I use this to as the cleanup under my brows. And then I always use this Maybelline to clean up at the top. So we took some brow stuff. And I brought my all-nighter de-slicker because I felt like, you know, it was going to be hot. So I needed my all-nighter de-slicker. And I brought this, um, who is this? The 24-hour a concealer, but I didn't use it. And then... My brushes, y'all, I put my brushes inside of here, and they're still in here, my Sonya G brushes. I just put them in here. I'll, I'll take those out later. Girl, it, it, Lorraine, when you when you have kids and stuff on vacation, it's a different, it's different from when you just go with your hubby or go with your girls, because you have to do more. Yeah, I need my glasses, girl. Yeah, I went to work the other day because I switched purses out. So I had my little my little cute coach bag for when I was on vacation. And it's small, and I forgot my eyeglasses. I could not even see it work. No, she, you're going to start a petition. They need to use a larger size for front. Because how are we supposed to know? Like, real. For real. And then for lippies, y'all, I just took... Um, I just grabbed some lippies. So we got a mother lip gloss we in this color. 
I think this is the Divine Rose color. And then I took, um, I'm trying to get them out. I just took a variety of colors. My Tom Ford Lip Wees, um Smoke Glass and Impulse. I took those lippies, and then I just grabbed, like, a lot of liners, y'all. So I'm not going to go through all the liners. I just grabbed a bunch of my papograph liners because I just simply didn't know. And with Impulse, you could take any color liner and change it up and make it a different color. So that's what we did as far as liners go. So most of these are all of my papograph. And some of my MAC liners. I'm going I'm to turn them upside down so you can see the colors on the tips. Then that way you'll know what colors I took. So these are my Pat McGrath liners. So these are the liners that I took with me. Lip liners. That way y'all can just see the colors. And then I took my MAC, um, it's like a reddish color, reddish pink color. What is this one? Nightingale and Cyber World. And I'll put those back later because I have to take, it takes more time. Sonya G said by said to buy her makeup. I looked at the Sonya G makeup case. I'm gonna have to. Okay, what do y'all think about that Sonya G makeup case? Because when she came out with the first little thing where it rolled up, I wasn't here for that at all. I felt like I, that no. But I am looking at that makeup case. Oh, makeup for glasses wear. You know, let me tell you why I don't really do why I don't do a makeup for glasses wear is because I only need my glasses to see when I read. And so I probably wear my glasses out of a day, total amount of time, out of a day, maybe an hour and a half. I only wear my glasses like when I need to see something or when I'm at work and I, I, I type a lot uh, for my job, but when it's time for me to um, get information off of certain reports where I have to add it from that report to an, and, and generate another report, I have to have my glasses then. Other than that, I don't wear them. Like, I can see. I just can't read without them. So I don't know if I would be a good representation because I don't wear them, you know, to CCC like that. Girl, Monique cracks me up. Yeah, it's a lot of less um, expensive makeup cases. So, um, but I still like it. I think I'm going to look, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to let it marinate. Y'all, it is hot in this room. And then the rest of the stuff that's in here is like um, on my lip bar, lippy. Which one is this? I don't know why I keep taking my glasses off when I know I got to read. Control Freak. And then I took a, a lippy from my Tom Ford, a bite lippy. And what else is in here? Oh, a, the little thing from Fenty blotting paper that I never use. But it's cute. And y'all, that is all that I took with me. That is it. I'm looking to see if it's, yeah. 
And we've been on here just about an hour. So I think that's it. I did um, purchase some stuff from Sephora, but I waited until I came home because I didn't want packages sitting at my front porch while I was gone. So I do have a Sephora haul coming up. Um, I did pick up the Patrick Top bronzer. That's in the Sephora haul. I did not pick up the Wayne Goss. Um, I only want to go on a rant about that. <laughs> yeah, so um, I didn't pick up the Wayne Goss. Hey, D. Okay, I'll check them out, Chai. Yeah, so um, so I did pick up a few things. Oh, you guys, we got to lift up in prayer. Um, I'm not sure if you guys follow her, but her, her name is Glam Girl Chelsea. And she just recently had a baby, but her and the baby both, and I'm not sharing nothing that's not been shared. It's a post out there. So I'm sharing what has already been shared. She, um, her and the baby end up catching COVID. They were in the hospital, but they are home now. So you guys definitely let's keep her in prayer. And I guess she's probably going to be off of YouTube for a minute. And so they were suggesting if you're going to shop the Sephora sale, please use her link to support her channel while she's going to be out. So you can go to, if you're not following her, definitely follow her because she's an amazing content creator. But if you are following her and if you do decide to buy something from Sephora, try to go through her link so that she could get some credit for it because she, I think she might be out for a minute, but yeah, definitely lift her up in prayer. You're going to, okay, so Heavy on the Chai is going to do the eyeglasses video for us, you guys. And while we're here, y'all, y'all have any suggestions for her? Anybody have any requested videos that they would like for her to do? Because I know sometimes when you're first starting off, you're trying to figure out what kind of videos do I need to do? What do the people want to see? You know what I'm, kind of, what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of the ladies that are in this room tonight are um, supporters of Chai. What would I like to see? I would like to see, because you almost pretty much did it on this one, a one brand video. Like just do makeup from one brand. You can pick whatever brand you want. A one brand video. You shopped her link? Okay. And yes, um, who somebody said something I wanted to acknowledge. I didn't want you to think I didn't see it. Oh, D. Yeah, yeah. The Wayne Goss. There was some foolishness. Oh, yeah. Do it. Lala said do a tag video. That would be nice. That'd be, I love tag videos, too. Yeah, the Wayne Goss was on some uh, please give me tips, tricks, and critiques. You got... Okay. You're doing good. I'm The, the biggest thing, um, Chai, is just be you. And you have a wonderful personality. Just be yourself. And, you know, we're not makeup artists. We are makeup enthusiasts. We're just doing this because we love makeup. And majority of our subscribers are women that they're not coming to us for expertise. You know, and I tell people all the time, I'm not a makeup artist, honey. You want expertise advice, I can lead you in the direction of some makeup artists. But I'm just here sharing my love of makeup. And I think that's all you have to do. You're just sharing your love of makeup, giving your honest opinion, and you have a lot of wealth of knowledge. And I can tell you have a lot of knowledge through the chats because you know, you be on top of it. Okay, let me try. You also do wonderful comparisons. Also, she said she does wonderful comparisons. Pick a category like a blush or contour and, um, and do your faves, yeah. Oh, faves are good. Yeah, and do not pay attention to negative comments and thumb down. Who cares about them? Because it's still a view. 
Yeah, we're not going to criticize you. No, no. She know we're definitely. Hey, Lisa, you just sub? Yes, do reviews. Yes, 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 do reviews. We love reviews. Hi, Lisa. Well, y'all, that is it. Um, those are the things I took with me. That was my little haul from the CCO store. I will give you guys a haul from um, my Sephora. I did my first shopping. I think I'm going to go back and do one more. I have a few more things I want to get. I'm really excited about this Patrick Todd. I don't know if it's going to be deep enough. Um, I was excited about the Wayne Goss. I really, I'm, I'm, I'm not a hater. I feel like the Wayne Goss, Goss was um, very pretty. I, I know it's not deep enough. But I feel like it was very pretty. And uh, Marlo did a video. If you haven't seen her video on it, definitely check hers out. Um, Lala did a video on the Patrick Ta as well. Um, I just felt like it was not enough representation. So I passed on it. You know, I feel like if you had a video with four different models and you only have three compacts, you, you could at least have one model to represent the deeper shades. Just so we can know if it would be deep enough before I bought it. I shouldn't have to guess. If you're giving representation to other shades, well, doggone it, I, I need some representation. And this ain't his first time doing that. So I thought that he would he would learn his lesson with those lippies, but evidently not. So, you know, I'm going to just pass. Oh, yes, a makeup collection video would be nice. D definitely do lives. Definitely do lives. You're going to do a one brand, Monique? Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, you're doing it on a Saturday. Good. I'll be able to catch it. Oh, Lorraine. Yeah, yes, hit or miss, yeah. Yeah, check out hers. So I'm excited to see how this, this Patrick Ty is going to work because I love the blush. I just don't know if it's going to be deep enough. And y'all, it's a cream. So y'all know how, how it is with me and creams, but I'm not a big cream person, but we're going to see. We are definitely going to see. But y'all, that is it. I want to tell you guys, I love you guys. I miss y'all. And um, you got to get to 300. Wait a minute. What, you got to get to 300 first before you do what? You're welcome. 300 for what, Monique? I was waiting to try to see what she was saying, talking about. But anyway, y'all, for all those that are watching the replay, thank you so much for watching the replay. And my replay people, I got it. Oh, subbies. Okay. Okay, we gotta get we gotta get Monique to 300. Most definitely. Um, y'all, let's share Monique out. Bye bye, Lala. Love you. Um, for those who's watching replay, I gotta go in once it goes because I'm I'm noticing y'all when I my replay have so many commercials, so I, once it goes up and get live, I can't change it until once it's live, like once it does the processing, and so once it does the processing, then I'll go in and take all those extra commercials out. I am so sorry, it's out of my control until after it goes through the process. Yes, I want to see her collection video too, y'all. So y'all, let's let's make sure we let everybody know about Monique. Monique, how many more do you need to get to 300? How many more you need? You only need nine? Okay, y'all, y'all. By this time next week, Monique got to be at 300, y'all. We can get her nine subscribers, okay? Nine, we can do nine, y'all. Everybody that's on a replay, please follow Monique's makeup. And she does lives. 
And y'all, she is, hey, shoe lady. She is, um, she, she does live videos and she has a eyeshadow collection out of this world. And if you love TJ Maxx type of video, she does TJ Maxx hauls all the time. So you guys, everyone in this room, make sure you subscribe to Monique. And guys, we are definitely going to um, send her out, share her so we can get her to 300. All right, y'all. So to all my new subscribers, I see you and I appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button so that I can save you a seat at the Grown Women's Table. And until the next video, bye-bye, ladies. Bye, Monique, Lorraine, Lala, Shoe Lady, Chai, Natisha, Lorraine. Oh, I already said Lorraine. Am I saying Philolina? I think I said that correctly. Uh, who else was in here? I think that's it for right now. And everyone else that came in, thank you so much, Lisa. All right, y'all. D, thank you, D. Bye bye, y'all. Joy, good night. Oh, Sarah, what's up, girl? Bye-bye, baby.